Hello everybody, this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and today I have a very special project for you. Now I know that this is um, still, we're still working on pick a cartridge over at gettingcricky.com and we're using, we're combining Candra design stamps with um, a cartridge that we hadn't used in three months or longer. And um, the cartridge I chose was Country Life and I had only ever used it one time um, prior to this. Um, and it was just for something small, I think letters or something. Um, and today I'm doing a video on something very special to me. As you can see, this book has had it. This is, it says The Joy of Remembering Our Guest and it was um, illustrated by Edward Cording, who I don't know who that is. And um, it was designed or whatever by Ruth James Cording. And I wanna give you a little story about this and then we'll go from there. Um, about, well it's been more than 20 years ago, this book was given to me by my mother-in-law um, as my husband and I, we had been married for just about seven and a half, eight months and we were getting ready to leave our home um, state and move to California which was, um, oh wow, I don't know, several hours or many hours away. It was a long drive and this was back in the 90s and, and you didn't just hop in the car and drive away. And um, my mother-in-law gave this to us. Um, it wasn't our first apartment, but it was kind of our, we were going out on our own. And so um, we packed up into Cal and headed to California. And I wish I could say I never forgot to put this book out, but I did. But what I did do is I put it out as often as I could. And I would have, people sign my book and you can see it's moved many 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 times um, I've had it all over the country um, my husband and I have lived in many many states and um, I have traveled with it and every time we move to a new location I'll put in our new address and I'll have it and I'll sign it um, and have my guests sign it when I can remember and so um, through all the moves it started to fall apart so I decided it's time to refurbish my um, guest book now if you have never kept a guest book I really encourage you to do that do that it's been so such a joy to us to be able to remember the guests that have been in our home some of whom are no longer even alive and so it's just really a joy and a blessing to be able to see the people that have been in our home now um, if you go on the blog and I will probably sometime this year do another tutorial making a guest book from scratch um, if you're interested in learning to make a guest book from scratch if you go over on my blog on the um, I have a section a page of books and um, the page is called books and you can find the guest book there and um, I made one last summer or fall for a friend who was having a party um, and this one though is going to be different because I'm going to use the book that I have and repurpose that somehow to make a new book so um, that would make a very long video so I just wanted to share this part of the story with you and then when we come back I'll show you what I did to make this book um, uh, to, to fix it up and make it ready for our family and yes I'll be using the Country Life Cricut cartridge as well as Candra Design Stamps so I'll be back with the finished book in just a bit Okay, so now we move to the next step of the project and I just wanna show you where we are so far. So what I did is I took a straight edge blade and I cut these um, guest pages from my from, the, from its binding that it was already falling apart from. And what I did is I took a piece of cream colored um, cardstock that I had from Recollections and because the edges, um, you'll notice here the edges came pretty close to the edge of the page and I was afraid that my binding would get too close to my words and you wouldn't be able to read them and I didn't want that to happen and so I wanted to um, add a little extra binding so I took um, these are eight inches wide so I took the eight inches 
and cut a strip that was one and a half inches line or wide by eight inches long and I scored it at three quarters of an inch and I folded it over and I um, adhered it to each page and that gives me a stronger binding for when I use my bind it all to bind it together. Now I can tell one problem that that did, even though it's thin cardstock, it really increased the bulk edges of the page. I think it's highly likely um, tomorrow I'm going to have to go purchase some larger O wire because the O wire that I have is not large enough. And I think that I'm probably going to end up losing some of the pages at the end. Um, I have this many of my pages have, are filled out so I may only be able to add three or four more pages we'll just have to play with it when we get back so after I did that I took my bind it all and I set it up and I um, cut all of my holes now of course another option I could do if I wanted to is I could probably um, run some just sewing lacing or something through that to bind it um, if it doesn't work out but I think I'll probably just take out what extra ones I don't need so that's done and then I pulled um, some chipboard now I don't know where you get your chipboard I save um, the back of forms actually I had a lady at work saving them for me for for several for a couple months and I have a big stack and I told her I didn't need any more and they were eight and a half by eleven pieces of chipboard um, from the backs of those forms and I cut them down to eight inches by eight inches and then I went through my paper and I decided this is something I'm going to have for a long time so I didn't even look at my scraps this time I wanted to find paper that I knew that I loved and I went through my stash and I found these papers now these papers are by Penny's Playground and um, there was a little scrapbooking store in my town that had them and I kind of stocked up on a Oh, well, I bought a few sheets. It was a little bit more expensive than I like to pay for paper. I think they were 79 to 99 cents a piece. But when they went out of business, I did buy a few extra sheets. Um, and I had just enough to be able to do this. Um, and I cut these 8 by 8. Now, these are all double-sided papers. This is the back side of them. And I chose to use the front sides. And I use um, this zip dry adhesive to adhere the um i wanted a good strong glue and i knew zip dry was good and strong and i use that to adhere my cardstock to the chipboard so i have a nice solid cover um and i'm gonna have to do something with it because i got kind of off in all my measuring and and i think it's just because it's so precise to get it all to fit in the bind it all the right direction and stuff and so i'm going to have to go back and either do some trimming or um, take care of it with embellishments. I'm not sure what I'll do, but this will be my front cover. This will be the inside front, inside back, and then this will be the back cover. And they all coordinate with each other nicely. So um, the next step of the project will be to get it bound, and then we'll start decorating. So we are actually on the homeward stretch. So thanks for watching. All right, so I'm back, and as you can see, I have quite an array of items in front of me. Um, I was able to get to the city today to find some um, O-wire, but unfortunately, by the time I added all my page thicknesses, and I believe I showed you what I did with my pages, how they look like this yesterday, by the time I got them all um, put together, it added so much thickness, and there are several pages here that I was not able to put back in the book. So I just, there wasn't even buying the thickest O-wire. The second problem I had is for some reason, even in the city today, O-wire was kind of hard to come by in one and a quarter inches, which is big as I could get it. And I actually have a bind it all, and I didn't show you how to do that today, but I ended up finding this um, from We Are Memory Keepers, this um, one and a quarter inch um, o binder, but if you remember correctly, my papers are all in purple, and the only color I could get this in besides this blue was a nice bright red. So I tried a couple of different things. The salesperson suggested trying Copics, um, and my mother in law was with me. She found a Copic marker. I tried that, it didn't really seem to change the color much, um, but I did find I got this purple twilight. Um, 
alcohol ink, a Tim Holtz alcohol ink, and I did um, change it. Now, unfortunately, when I was done, it wasn't that bright blue. It's more of a dark blue. I may eventually change it out because I was really going for the purple, and it's kind of more a purpley blue color, and I'll show that to you in just a few minutes. Um, and I may, once I can find, I found the perfect purple that I just love, but it only came in one inch, and I knew that wouldn't be big enough. So my, I may eventually rebind this, but the rest of the book is done. The book is put together now, and I will um, show it to you in just a minute. So just keep in mind, if you're planning a project like this, plan far in advance just in case you can't find anything because chances are you can find it on the internet. So um, I want to show you some other supplies that I got out. I got out my quick drying tacky glue. Now I am not using, um, I don't know why, but in the adhesive section at my Joann's, this runs a little bit less expensive or it did when I purchased it than the um, Scotch quick dry um, that we see often. Um, that's kept in the scrapbooking section. I don't know why, so I bought this less expensive one. If somebody knows why and wants to tell me, that's fine. Is it just because it says it's for scrapbooking that it's more? I don't know, but it works really well. So I use that. I use this lilac twine from the twinery. I use this um, Tim Holtz paper tape in the music notes. I use my dusty Concord ink, and I used my um, I think this is a one or two inch circle punch. And um, and then I went back through my charms and my different Tim Holtz things. And I was able to find some different, um, this is just a key. This one says love, this token, this one says life, this one says journey. And I put them all on the lo longer jump ring. And that's going to go right on the top of my binding there. So now for the, fin oh, one more thing before we get to the finished project. Two more things. Of course, I am using Country Life, just like I have been through this whole week. Um, and the I use this banner here, and I cut it in two different sizes. I cut it in one inch, and then I cut it in one and three quarters inch. And then I went through the book, and they have there's a um, a number font and the same font in, in um, letters as well. Here's this P here. And so I went through and I found out all the letters that I needed. And then of course, we've got to use a stamp set. And so what stamp set did I use? Pirates, um, Pirate Tales and Fish Scales. I know that sounds kind of weird, but you'll see how it all came together and it came together beautifully. I am going to show you the back first. Keep the suspense going a little bit. So I used the paper tape to go around the edge, and though it was a close match, it was too much of a contrast. So I took the con Dusty Conquer Distress ink, and I inked around the edges, both inside and outside. Um, and so it kind of scuffed up the inside a little bit, but it also kind of muted that music a little bit. And that kind of um, finished off my edges nicely. And now we have the front of the book. Um, this is where I put your friendship is a treasure. I, I stamped that also in dusty Concord with that on that two inch circle. And then I did a, um, I believe it was a two inch square in a green color and the same green color I used to write parish family. And then the font says established 1991. And then I used another purple paper to, uh, two and a quarter inches square to kind of frame that out. And then I, um, made my banner, Parish Family, established 1991. And the way I did that is um, I ran the letters through the Xyron 150 and I adhered those to the banner. And then I positioned my banner and then um, pretty much one row at a time, I pulled it off and then played with it. And then when I was all done and I saw this, I saw somebody do something similar to this at Christmas time using, um, I think they were hanging stockings on a chimney or something. Um, but what I did is when I was all done, that's when I pulled out my tacky glue and I just ran a thin bead of glue across the top of each banner and applied the twine. And then I tied my bows and applied them with a drop of glue. Now this, you can see this binding, it's, it reminds me of an electric blue, which actually matches okay because there are different colors in my paper. I'm a purple girl, I'll probably eventually want to get a purple binding and just undo it and, and run it back through. Um, but for now, this is so much better than it was. Um, and then also, just, if you remember correctly, I cut my um, 
cover at eight inches square and I think I would have liked it better even though it was still smaller than the paper I I think I would have been happier with it had I cut it maybe like at eight and a half inches by eight inches tall um, so that it would kind of cover up this edge a little bit better because when it's all flat even though the inside paper is a little bit smaller it still kind of sticks out so what I did is I took my dusty conquer distress ink and my ink tool and I also just kind of rub those edges so that they kind of all blend and so to finish off this little thing here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little jump ring and run my charms through and the book is done so um, that's my finished project. Um, I'm going to be using this for the Tuesday tutorial over at gettingcricky.com and then also as today's um, uh, entry for the pick a cartridge day week that we're having over at gettingcricky.com. So thanks for watching and come back tomorrow. I'm, I kind of have a plan for what I'm going to be doing and I'm just going to give you a little hint. I think I'm going to be using sympathetic sayings and I'm not making a sympathy card. So come back tomorrow and um, see what we're making. Have a great day.